January 20th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Matthew chapter 20 from the New Testament For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. And after agreeing with the workers for the standard wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When it was about nine o'clock in the morning, he went out again and saw others standing around in the marketplace without work. He said to them, You go into the vineyard too, and I will give you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and three o'clock that afternoon, he did the same thing. And about five o'clock that afternoon, he went out and found others standing around and said to them, Why are you standing here all day without work? They said to him, Because no one hired us. He said to them, You go and work in the vineyard too. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the workers and give the pay starting with the last hired until the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each received a full day's pay. And when those hired first came, they thought they would receive more. But each one also received the standard wage. When they received it, they began to complain against the landowner, saying, These last fellows worked one hour, and you have made them equal to us who bore the hardship and burning heat of the day. And the landowner replied to one of them, Friend, I am not treating you unfairly. Didn't you agree with me to work for the standard wage? Take what is yours and go. I want to give to this last man the same as I gave to you. Am I not permitted to do what I want with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be the first, and the first last. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve aside privately and said to them on the way, Look, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priest and the experts in the law. They will condemn him to death, and will turn him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged severely and crucified. Yet on the third day he will be raised. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, and kneeling down she asked him for a favor. He said to her, What do you want? She replied, Permit these two sons of mine to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus answered, You don't know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He told them, You will drink my cup, but to sit at my right and at my left is not mine to give. Rather, it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. Now when the other ten heard this, they were angry with the two brothers. But Jesus called them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them, and those in high positions use their authority over them. It must not be this way among you. Instead, whoever wants to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be your first among you must be your slave, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. As they were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed them. Two blind men were sitting by the road. When they heard that Jesus was passing by, they shouted, Have mercy on us, Lord, son of David. The crowd scolded them to get them to be quiet. But they shouted even more loudly, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. Jesus stopped, called them, and said, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, let our eyes be opened. Moved with compassion, Jesus touched their eyes. Immediately they received their sight and followed him. God, today I ask for forgiveness. Forgiveness for being one of those workers in the vineyards. who wasted her, the main part of her life, messing around in the marketplace and not working in the vineyard. I knew you at such a young age, God. And yet most of my life was spent making it all about me. With horrible choices and bad relationships. 
and things I said and things I did that weren't reflective of you in the slightest and did nothing for your kingdom. In fact, in some of my darkest hours, I suspect I kept many people away from your kingdom. And that is just too hard for me to even think about. And now that you've blessed me and allowed me to become your child and follow you, I feel like I have such a short amount of time to work in your vineyard. And while I don't regret in a normal capacity my previous life because you have made all of the things that happened in my previous life good and you've allowed me to use those stories to help other people, it still makes my heart really sad that I wasted all of those years on me instead of giving them to you. So today I ask forgiveness for all the time that I waste, even to today. When I want to do something my way, or I want a relationship to go my way, or I want something to be done in a certain way which happens to be my way and I'm not willing to be patient and wait for your timing and do it in the way you want it to be done <sighs> even then I have to apologize for wasting time instead of just being obedient to you God my life with you has changed so much and it's been so amazing not easier <laughs> Definitely not more comfortable, but so incredibly amazing. I am in awe of all the things that you do around me, for people, with people, in this world, for us. And I am so honored and humbled to be working in your vineyard right now. So uh, along with asking for forgiveness for wasting so much of my life on things that don't matter, that are, are definitely earthly things. I ask that you show me the times now that I am wasting, the emotions I'm wasting, the actions I'm doing that are wasting, that are wasting time and energy that I could be devoting instead to your kingdom. I thank you very much for your forgiveness, for your grace, so much for your grace and for your mercy that you, you have shown in my life, God. In your son's name we pray, amen. <laughs>